Hi guys, welcome to Food with Chetna. Today I'm going to show you how to make chapati. All I've got here is some chapati flour. A few people wrote to me and said that the chapatis are quite brittle and hard and they go quite crispy. So to avoid that, the best thing to do is add a teaspoon of oil and give it a mix. Every brand of flour takes different amounts of water. So all I do is fill a jug and then just slowly add it to the flour and kind of bring it together. Just in case it does go a little wet, just add a bit more flour. And see, it's, it's not wet, it's not really hard, it's just the right consistency and this um, will roll out so beautifully. Just put a tiny bit of oil in your palms and just smoothen it out. And now this really needs to rest for 10 to 15 minutes. If you are not making it after 15 minutes, it can stay in the fridge up to two to three days. And we'll just take a small portion, just roll it with your palm of the hands. I always have some dry flour in a box because whenever I'm making chapati, I need it to um, just cover the dough in it. You can roll it however you like. So I basically roll it and the chapati is rolling itself and that really is it. So I've got the skillet um, heated now. It needs to be nice and hot before you put your chapati on this. So after a few seconds um, you can see that the chapati is starting to bubble up. Now at that stage just turn it around. It's not cooked on this side yet but you just flip it so that's your first turn. And then you let it cook for a few more seconds till it's done on the other side. You can check if you want. And if you um, don't want to burn yourself, just check it like this. And when you turn it around for the second time with a clean tea towel, just press it on the side, not in the center, but on the sides. And then it just puffs up. If you want it to remain nice and soft, you can put some butter on it or if you want um, some ghee or if you just want to go for some oil, then oil, but I prefer to use butter. Wrap it up in foil and if you keep them, they will last for a couple of days as well. And you can reheat them in a microwave or in on a pan again. With practice, you can make them really, really fast and uh, you will never look at a shop pot wraps again. So give them a go and thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.